Hello, I thought I'd try and do a little bit more uh, succinct version of how to convert your files into uh, multiple files into one as a dot, uh, .xwm so that you can expand on the 50 tracks that are currently available with a pre-war classic radio mod. So <coughs> what we're going to be doing is taking Audacity. I've got an album, uh, Queensryche's Operation Mindcrime, that I, I like to listen to. Uh, track after track after track because it's basically a, a, a drama. It's 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 a story. So listening to them uh, randomized is not an option, and listening to them in a block is, but it's it, it's it's a large uh, amount of data, and I'm trying to minimize what I'm putting the computer through. So uh, I will have timestamps uh, listed down in the. Uh, description if you want to just jump to where it's at but the idea here is to take uh, chunks of music whether it's three uh, to five tracks uh, we're limited to under 23 minutes this is me testing it out uh, because of the way that the uh, audio encoder um, encodes it, it just will not handle anything over 23 I think you could stretch it at 23 and a half but I know that I've gone over 23 and a half and uh, it just tells me to go pound sand. So you're going to need to get this uh, Skyrim audio converter. Um, it's the easiest one. There's no setup. Uh, it just works. Um, there are a couple of other uh, Yakutori or Yakutoni or something like that on uh, Nexus Mod Manager that you can get. Um, or you can use FFmpeg uh, just direct from the command line to do it. But this for our for for the purposes of what I need to do um, this this works just fine um, I, I set up a little audio to wave folder uh, basically this is just uh, you know you drop your original music in here and you'll see I've already done that I've got the uh, entire uh, mind crime album in here uh, in order um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and where's my length I'm going to take these and put them uh, so that I, I'm only dealing with um, <clears throat> excuse me, 23 minutes of audio at a time. So as you can tell, there's some smaller sections in here that are going to make this easier to do. Um, but then you've got like Sweet Sister Mary where it's 10, minute, 10, 10 and a half minutes long. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and jump into what you need to do to get this done. So I'm going to set this up real quick, keep that open for the moment, and set you over here, bring up Audacity, and get this ready. Now, go grab first song, drop it in, sets up your audio track, oops, I did not want to do that, and I'm going to reduce that you hit control 3 and it shrinks uh, your window down for you drag the next track in now it wants to drop it into there but you can if you can get it you can actually I have dragged it up here before there we go come on you can do it there we go gotta get it off the other track in order to do that then let's uh, let's put the marker here. Maybe that'll help me. And nope, it still wants to. Shrink it back down again. Let's close this so we can see what we're doing. And up here. Um, when you get to the end, uh, it'll show you how long we've got. So, so far, I've used 7 minutes out of my 23. So, that means I can go grab another one. Actually, hang on. Let's close this down. So, we're only dealing with the one. Track 4. Shrink them back again. Drag that up. 
So now we're at, uh, looks like under just under 12. We're just at 12, so I still got ways to go. Plenty of time left. I found I by habit I want to click on this bar right here. Clicking on that bar does not move your marker. You have to click in one of the open spaces to be able to move where your uh, time marker, where you where you're actually playing from is. Let's see. You don't have to put them all on one track. It just makes it easier because they, they naturally snap into each other. Um, you can leave them out here and just do track after track. And then as long as it's linear, um, it'll work. If you put them, if you stack them on top of each other, you're just going to get a audio mess. Now, I've got, I'm right at 20 minutes here with this song. So the next one, the mission is five minutes long. That song will not work. So that's as many as I can put um, on here for now. So we come up here, go to File, Export, Wave. Uh, we're going to go back to Desktop. We're going to go to... Uh, da, 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 da. There's a whole bunch of stuff over on the other side. Where is... No. Nope. What did I name that stupid folder? Audio to Wave. So here the first track if I want this to to be the very first thing that plays um, in the radio uh, the naming convention is zero zero pre-war classic for pre-war classic radio and the first track is zero one and it runs all the way up to zero fifty so this will be the first track there spreading the disease will be the actually it'll be the mission will be the next song um, it needs to be signed 16-bit PCM. I had somebody else uh, try and do a wave conversion uh, from a website. I don't know what what it was, but there are a lot of different encoding options um, for wave files. Uh, but you want it to be a signed 16-bit PCM. I read somewhere that that's the only wave file that uh, the fallout will will recognize. I haven't really played around with it. Now I clear this just because it's not that song. This is a hodgepodge of songs. So, and now it exports it out. And I can start over again. So we will start with spreading to the, uh, the mission. The mission is what we're starting with. So, throw that up. Uh, all right, and then Sweet Sister Mary comes next, and I'm just going to drop a couple in here real quick. Let me see, five, eight, ten, oh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at, let me, here we go, so I'm looking at the links here, so almost six minutes that takes us out to 16 and a half so 19 so I can put uh, electric requiem in and we'll look at the time and see where I'm at from there and I'll just put you down here this time so let's uh, shrink the track view down sister Mary brings us to 21 minutes yeah I can't fit another one in there all right so file export wave signed 16-bit and this will be two save clear and hit OK all right and before I do that, which one was this? Ah. Oh, shit. Where now? Oh. There we go. 
Electrocrack Queen was last. Alright. I had it highlighted anyway. All right, so four, four, eight. That's nine, ten. So this should be the last file. So I got the whole album uh, done in three, three audio tracks. All right, I don't need this anymore. So, shrink it down. If nobody's ever listened to this album, or if you don't know who Queen's Rick is, uh, this came out, I want to say, early 90s. Uh, I know it was before the Empire album, which came out in about 92. Um, Brett DeGarma, the guy on drums, is... Uh, uh, excuse me, guitar is actually just phenomenal. Jeff Tate, lead singer, his voice is amazing. So, um, I don't think they ever really got a lot of airplay except with, um, I know that um, off the Empire album, Silent Lucidity got some airplay, and I think Jet City won one, but that was about it. Let's see. Yep, save, and clear, and hit OK. <coughs> All right, and we are done with Audacity. Save project before closing. No. Now we can go and take a look at what we've actually got. And those WAV files are... So when you look at the size of these, each one of them is a little bit over 200 meg. So that's a that's a good chunk of space. Um, and the game does load these in. I found that uh, during the gameplay, uh, you cannot change audio files while you're actually playing the game or while the game's paused. Uh, you have to exit back to the load screen in order to be able to move files around. Um, because if you try and move them around during the game, um, it just retains the old information so that tells me that it's, that it's keeping them in memory somewhere uh, whether it's made a um, a backup copy of the music someplace and it's playing off of that off a of temp not a backup copy but a temp copy or it's just loaded in, into memory so to prevent the game from having to chug away and you're losing a big chunk of space here uh, we convert it over to the XWM format so, got my first three tracks. I'm looking at over half a gig of data right now. So, I use the, uh, the Skyrim audio converter that I pulled. Like I said, it's off of um, um, the Nexus. And we'll just add. Uh, da -da -da -da. Go back to desktop. And we're going to. Where was it? Audio to Wave. Go into WAV files, grab all three, hit open, or you can drag and drop here too. You can drag and drop. Um, I'm just old, so sometimes it's hard for me to figure out what I'm doing. All right, and then just hit convert selected. And we got no errors. It's done go back into our wave folder and now you will see uh, where's my type here's my previous half a gig down to less than 30 meg um, and if you're curious um, I'll play a little bit of this real quick when you listen to the to the sound of it, um, I don't know how loud this is going to be. Ooh, that is rather loud. So, uh, Stop. 
So, let's see if we. But this is all. Of this is all the tracks put together into one track. Um, and as you can tell. I can't tell the difference in the audio quality. Then again, I've spent a lot of time around jets. I've got tinnitus. For me, this is perfectly acceptable. Um, like I said, it's 30 megs versus 600 gig. Uh, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. So that's a hopefully a much shorter and a much more clear um, way or explanation for how to convert your wave files into uh, much smaller uh, XWM files and not only that but when you look at the uh, it doesn't give you the length here in, in the XWM because Windows just does not know how to handle that but I've got um, what 1920 uh, I've got an hour's worth of music compressed into 30 meg um, and considering that the uh, pre-war classic radio mod allows you 50 tracks, uh, 20 minutes per track, uh, that's uh, that's 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 a lot of that's a lot of music. Um, it's a thousand minutes. That's can I can't be right. 20 minutes per track. So three makes an hour. So it's over 15 hours of music. Um, it's not bad. You can you can definitely put together a, a, a rather long list of music that you'll never hear it cycle back through again until much later. Uh, that's not a knock against other radio mods that are out there. I've listened to them; some of them are great. But if I can put together uh, 15 hours of my own music and never have to worry about it just coming back to the same songs over and over and over again, or swapping songs in and out, I'll go with that option. I can throw the whole albums of stuff up in here, and being an old, older guy, I've got some old rock that, uh, quite honestly, there's nothing like you know, shooting up, shooting up a place, just listening to some Quiet Riot or Metallica or something like that in the background. As far as I'm concerned, and, and you know, there's some other guys that you got, you got different tastes. That's what it is. That's what this is about. So. Hope you enjoyed. I hope this is sm shorter, and I hope it's a, a lot more clear than the original video. Um, take care, and uh, have a nice day.